three. Hi, and welcome to the Early Eagle Monday Minute Early. News for the week of February 26th. I'm your host today. My name is Sabrina, and I'm in the middle school student leadership. For Monday, February 26th, we have the 9 a.m. Read Aloud Adventures, the 12 p.m. Kindness Club, and the 3 p.m. Good Vibes Club. For Tuesday, February 27th, we have the 9 a.m. Read Aloud Sea Life, 12 p.m. CTE Presentation, the 2 p.m. Esports, the 3 p.m. K Club, and also at 3, we have the Rad Readers Book Club. For Wednesday, February 28th, we have the 9 a.m. Read Aloud Pets, the 9.30 a.m. in-person event Dijon Dairy Tour, the RSVPs are closed, and the 12.15 p.m. CTE Luncheon. For Thursday, February 29th, we have the 9 a.m. Read Aloud Winter Wonderland, 12 p.m. Save the Date Elite Character Awards, and at 3 is our Be Elite Podcast Club. For March 1st, we have the 9 a.m. Read Aloud Simple Machines, the 10 a.m. in-person event Sound and Music Play, the 12 p.m. Character Awards, and the 1 p.m. Songwriting Club. Wednesday, March 1st, is the Quest Crew in-person event Surf Heritage and Culture Center. This is going to be a cool surf museum where you can see different surfboards and learn about surfing. It is at 11 a.m. and is open to all grades. Better RCP soon because there are only 20 tickets available. Friday, March 8th, is the Homeschool Park Day. There are three different locations. It is open to any homeschool academy student and is from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. RSVP on Parent Square today. Friday, March 22nd is the Quest Crew Potato Chip Rock Qualifier Hike. It is for people who want to go on great adventures like five to six mile hikes. This is a five mile hike with the 1000 elevation gain. Proper shoes, backpack, and adventure attire is required. It is open to grades fourth and up. RSVPs today. Wednesday, March 20th, is the Knott's Berry Farm Field Trip, open to all students, siblings, and parents. This event is going to be a designated grade level STEM program. RSVP quickly for this event. Ed funds can be used for this event, so don't forget to use those when RSVPing on Parent Square. On Saturday, March 30th, there's a UCLA softball game. The event is at 11 a.m., open to all grades, and is $750 per ticket. Ed funds can be used for this event and check Parent Square for more information. Our staff highlight this week is Mrs. Smith. Mrs. Smith is a CTE ASL teacher. She enjoys visiting national parks and traveling, for that matter, with her family, baking and reading. What Mrs. Smith absolutely loves about Ali is being able to share her passion with the students. She enjoys teaching ASL, helping students come out of their comfort zones, and experience a new language. Lastly, she has a dog named Thor and a cat named Duchess. Thanks, Mrs. Smith, for all you do for our students, staff, and school. We appreciate you. Our student highlight this week is Kirsten. She's an 11th grade student and has earned a full ride scholarship to study at a private university in the south of France at the age of 15 and is now graduating high school junior. She advocates for global education and helps other students have the experience of a lifetime to study abroad. She became an ambassador for the Council of International Educational Exchange and worked alongside her fellow ambassadors to raise over $25,000 in tuition funds to support students who struggle financially to afford studying abroad. Keep up the great work and continue to be elite, Kirsten. Answer time to last week's riddle. Every week, the Monday Minute will have a riddle. This first person who emails EliteASB at EliteAcademic.com will win a prize. Our riddle for last week was why do fish swim in salt water? The answer is because Pepper makes him sneeze. Congratulations to the person who won. Riddle time. Every week, the Monday Minute will have a riddle. The first person who emails EliteASB at EliteAcademic.com will win a prize. Our riddle this week is what travels around the world but stays in one corner? It's pretty small. Stay tuned for next week for the answer. Follow us on social media for more elite information. This is Sabrina. See you next week for another exciting